Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here, and today we're checking out an incredible amp that nobody knows about. So what exactly is this incredible amp and what does it sound like? Well, I'm glad you asked. Is Wangs. So I want to know more about Wangs. Slap like if you like Wangs. Let's hop over to the computer, take a look. Uh, the first link is very good. We're going to go to the second one and we're going to kind of scroll down past the products, past the, the small team making these amps by hand. We're going to keep going down past some products. We're going to go past uh, the, the images here. They're only made with American, German, Dutch, Japanese components. Uh, as you can see, very high quality components. We're going to go down to the frequently asked questions. Now, these are fantastic. I like this one particularly. Big Amplifier sends their stuff to China to be built, and those guys haven't made a decent amp in 10 years. Why are you guys any better? Throw in some serious shade. Love that. Anyway, here we go. Why don't you guys change your name? You do know what a Wang is, right? <laughs> right on their official page. Love that so much. Here we go. Wangs is actually pronounced Wongs. It's the most common last name in China and the name of their creator. So there you go. It's not actually Wangs. It's Wongs. Right. So all kidding aside, what we have here is the Wongs. This is the 2204. This is all hand built by a small team of, you know, elite builders in China. And this is sort of a boutique version of the Marshall 2204. Now, when I say this is an amp that nobody knows about, that's not entirely true because Wong's actually has a pretty strong cult following in North America. Now, while these amps weren't strictly intended for North America, they found their way over here for at least three reasons. Number one, they're built by hand and they're built well. Number two, they sound fantastic. And number three, they're affordable. All right, so let's take a closer look at this amp. Now, this is a 50 watt all tube hand wired head. We've got three AX7s and two EL34s. Front panel, just like the classic Marshall it's based upon, very, very simple. You've got you know power on and off and you've got a standby switch. Then you've got your power LED. Then you've got your controls, which is you know presence, bass, middle, treble, uh, master volume and preamp volume. So you can have you know those classic rock tones without making your ears bleed, which is awesome. And we've got a leather handle, birch cabinet, uh, hemp grill, everything feels really nice on this amp. Now, for those who aren't steeped in martial history, you might be wondering what's the 2204 and why is Wong's doing a modern boutique version of that amp? Well, it's a classic amp from the mid seventies known for having amazing overdriven tones and clean tones. It was like the best of Fender and Marshall kind of put together in one amp. You know, lots of Marshalls aren't really known for having, you know, beautiful, clean, pristine, sparkly, clean tones. This amp was absolutely killer clean tones. We'll go through those in a second and having, you know, that master volume. So you could get that, you know, raunchy, classic Marshall overdriven tone without making your ears bleed. Now this amp really stays true to the original in a lot of different ways. Namely, there's no effects loop on the back. So it's just your speaker outputs, your power cable and your fuse. And on the front, you've got your you know, shared EQ, and it really is a one channel amp with that master volume, but you do have a high sensitivity output and a low. And this is how you can really get your dirty tones and your clean tones. All right, so let's plug this baby in, go through some tones. For now, I'm just gonna be plugging straight into the front end of the amp, no pedals. We're gonna test it with pedals a little later on, but we're gonna start plugging straight in. Uh, the cabinet's gonna be mic'd up with the Rode NT1 and the Earthworks SR25. Let's check out some of the tones. All right, so let's kick things off with the EQ section all at 12 o'clock. We've got our master volume fairly low and the preamp volume at about three quarters. We've got our triple uh, pickup SSG on the bridge position. Here we go. Let's check out some of that uh, classic 70s tone. Let's check it out. <laughs>
Now, quickly before the SG goes out of tune, let's try boosting those mids to get even a more, you know, classic Marshall type tone. We're going to try uh, boosting the mids and then scooping them. <laughs> Take the treble all the way up, well, about three quarters. Let's check out the presence control. So let's take the presence control all the way up to about three quarters here. And back down. Too late, the SG is out of tune. We ran out of time, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch guitars. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's gonna be driving some people out, uh, you know, out of their minds. Let's uh, switch to a guitar that's gonna hold tune a little better. All right, so we know this amp can deal out 70s classic rock tones all day long and sound absolutely fantastic, but what about the clean tones? So I've plugged into the low sensitivity input and we've got presence boosted, mids and bass cut, treble boosted, masters at about 12 o'clock and the preamps cranked. Let's listen to the neck pickup here. Here we go. <laughs> So still very much, you know, able to get those chimey, glassy strat tones out of the same amp. All right, so let's stick with our single coils for just a little bit longer. We're going to plug back into the high sensitivity input. We've got our presence way down. We've got bass, 12 o'clock, mids boosted, trebles cut, and uh, yeah, preamp volume is cranked. Let's see what that sounds like on a single coil. This is the Shiji STE. <laughs> So now let's see how much gain we can get out of this amp before we hit it with some pedals. So we've got our presence down, uh, bass down a little bit, mids are scooped, and then trebles down just a touch. So kind of a classic mid scoop sound. We've got our Lawler Imperials in this uh, in the SB59 here. Let's uh, hit a chord, see what kind of gain we can get out of this amp. doesn't quite get into modern territory, but with a decently high output set of pickups, you can drive it pretty good. Now let's hit the wongs with some pedals, see how it reacts to that. It's important, at least to me, to know, you know that my pedals will sound decent with a new amp. So we've got everything uh, at around 12 o'clock. We're in the low sensitivity input, which means clean tones. So here we go.
All right, so let's start by hitting it with the uh, Wampler Triple Rec, which is more of a high gain, kind of Mesa Boogie type tone. Um, let's check that out. <laughs> All right, so now let's try something a little bit more low gain. Uh, this is the JHS uh, 808, which is half of their double barrel um, pickup. So as you guys can hear from just a couple examples, you can really, uh, you know, use your pedals. Sounds great with the Wongs. All right, I've got the SG. Now what I'm going to do is hit the front end of the Wongs with an overdrive pedal, add a little bit of delay and reverb for a lead tone. Let's check that out. Now I'm always curious to see what's inside. So let's pull off the back here, carefully. All right, you guys, let's pull off the back and see what's inside. All right, you guys, let's take a closer look on the inside. I know manufacturers probably hate it when I do stuff like that, but anyway, getting to this part, so easy. It's just, you know, the four screws holding the black back plate on and then four screws underneath holding the whole amp into the chassis. So let's see if I can, uh, just kind of carefully slide this out. There we go. Careful not to touch the circuit board underneath. I should probably be wearing gloves, but anyway, there we go. We are free and clear. This thing is heavy. So let's take a closer look on the inside. Uh, but so far, that is ridiculously clean. All right, well, here's the gut shot, you guys. For those of you who are into amps, hopefully you appreciate this. Uh, it doesn't mean much to me, but I can identify. Here's your speaker outputs, uh, your preamp tubes, your power amp tubes, and obviously uh, the, the EQ and the level controls up here, along with your toggle switch, the main circuit board. Like I said, I'm not into amps, but uh, for those of you who are, there you go. This is what's on the inside um, of the Wong's amp. And I can say it is ridiculously well made uh, everything is super duper clean and looks amazing all right you guys so here's my final thoughts on the wong's 2204 this is an incredible little amp and for the price you know a third of what the competition you know will charge you for a boutique amp like this uh, incredibly well made uh, i think it sounds amazing the the eq section very versatile so no matter you know if you have dark pickups in your guitar or really bright pickups single coils or humbuckers you're gonna be able to get a tone that you like the the eq section very very flexible 
Um, it is sort of, you know, a one channel amp. So you don't have like a foot switch where you can go between clean and dirty. Um, it is, you know, a modern take on a vintage amp and it's true to that. So, you know, if you need a bunch of channel switching, uh, this is not the amp for you, but if you need like great, you know, 70s authentic tone, um, and, you know, and the amp takes pedals totally fine. So, you know, if you need a, a couple overdrive pedals to go with, no problem at all. It sounds great on the dirty, you know, on the high sensitivity, which is like the dirty channel. Uh, it sounds great being hit with an overdrive pedal. Clean channel sounds great being hit with an overdrive pedal. So very versatile from that standpoint, like it hands, handles different gain stages totally fine. The preamp tubes can just get hit hard and they just break up beautifully. So love the tones, uh, love the build quality. Uh, the gut shot was insane. It's so clean on the inside. It looks amazing. I've never had an amp like that. <laughs> you know, all my amps, uh, you know, uh, are definitely not boutique level. So, um, you know, from the bottom up, this is a fantastic amp. So I'll drop a link to this amp in the video description below. Big thanks to the guys from Wong's for sending it over. Use the code DBG for 10% off this amp. So that was really cool of the guys. Uh, if you're looking for an amp like this and you want to save a few bucks, use the code DBG. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can check out my t-shirt store, tab store, all that stuff in the video description as well. Have yourself a fantastic day.